This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. Nice full house today. I love it. And scoot around the table. Welcome to New Day Northwest on this beautiful Thursday morning. I hope the weather holds out through the weekend. We have an action packed show lined up for you today. We're kicking things off with dogs dressed up for Halloween. They are backstage. They are hilarious. They're escorted by their owners in matching costumes from a local canine boutique. Then Kelly Moore will show us how to throw a dinner party starring a Northwest staple, my favorite salmon. And the Mammo Van from Seattle Cancer Care Alliance is waiting outside. I got a mammogram this morning, by the way. Okay. So we're only a couple of weeks away from Halloween, and kids are not the only ones who want to have fun dressing up. Our first guests are a brother and sister team from Seattle who started a company specializing in doggy fashions and accessories. They have since developed a huge celebrity following and even starred on the Bravo reality show Show Dog Moms and Dads. Here to present their brand new line of dog costumes, please welcome Lori and Ryan Pacciano. Come on out, guys. So what gave you this idea, dog accessories into a business that is now blooming in the, you wait till you see these costumes, it's not like a little special collar, it's like, it's a big dang deal going on back there. Yeah, um, pet industry is a $52 billion industry, so. And we just entered our eighth year in business. And things are going well? Things have been going great. Our business has been growing for the last eight years. Um, we started with one product in our grandmother's garage here in Seattle. and. Our business just exploded. I mean, it was an Entertainment Weekly's Hot 100 within the first year, and we had a TV series on Bravo. I, as we mentioned, the show <laughs> dog moms and dads, and you've got a new show in the works. So you actually have a crew here today. Yeah. So you're on TV, yeah. being on TV, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, tell us about that. Well, they're capturing all the horrible stuff that happens. <laughs> <laughs> what horrible stuff happens? Like you know, all the deadlines that we're not meeting. Our company <laughs> is reaching total impact. We. Like Ryan said, signed a licensing deal. We have three um, books we're working on. Um, the TV series. We have the TV series, yeah. And so it'd be kind of like watching Starbucks, like if there had been a reality series to watch it explode. So but it's not as glamorous as it always seems. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, everything's so much harder work than people imagine, and it Absolutely. is kind of fun to get a behind the scenes look. So, dog costumes just in time for Halloween. What was your inspiration to pull these together? Well, you know, um, we do a lot of fashion shows, and um, next year we're launching a line of products that are going to be kind of right up this alley. So, 11% of Americans are going to be dressing their dogs this year, and we definitely <laughs> wanted to participate in that. So, I wonder what percentage of the dogs are happy about that. <laughs> but 11% um, are doing it all the same. Okay, so let's take a look at what you have. Let's have our okay. first pair of models come on out. Oh. <laughs> Tell us what we're seeing. This is Lilia, and she's in a, a Hi, avatar costume from rubies.com, and then the dog costume is ours. It's actually a blue kitty costume. <laughs> so, because every avatar girl needs a blue kitty. And this little dog here is from Ginger's Pet Rescue. His name is Nacho, so we should have put a sombrero on his kitty costume. But is Nacho available for adoption? He is available okay. for adoption. Let's just make that clear because we like very much to see all our adoptable pets on this show find a loving home. Way to go, Nacho. Thank you. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Come on out. Look at what we have here. <laughs> Supergirl, and today she's accompanied by Lola, our spokesmodel, who is super bitch. Is that so, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Ellie is an adorable Supergirl. Lola is not up for adoption. This oh. is Lori's dog. <laughs> that's, that's your dog, so yeah. no way. What a gorgeous yeah. costume. That's a great idea. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Let's see our third model. Oh, I love it. Love it. Actually, this is awesome. Okay, so this is Cece, and she's dressed as Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And uh, next to her is Lucas, and he has been up for adoption for a while. And I've heard out of the 30 fosters that the foster has had, he's the best oh, one Lucas. she's ever had. Oh. And his costume is a lion. We thought Toto was too, you know, it wasn't really original enough, so we did. 
so his, a little further. His heart on the back says Toto is a bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, Look. you need a home, buddy. <laughs> All right, New Day family, we have to get Lucas a home. Lucas is walking around going, somebody is following me. What is up? So that's gorgeous. Thank you. Very cute. Very cute. Ginger's Pet Rescue. Ginger's Pet Rescue again. We yeah. love Ginger. All right, come on out. <laughs> Okay, so to give you an idea about reality television, uh, Melissa is one of our co-producers, and we needed a bat girl this morning, so she put her camera down and put on a costume. Excellent. You make a gorgeous bat girl. <laughs> Thank you. And Texas is my dog. He's from hey, Ginger's Texas. Pet Rescue. Hey, buddy. And he's just bat dog. I love that face. How are his sinuses doing? Can you breathe okay? <laughs> Should try sleeping with him. <laughs> Snoring. Snoring just a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. And our next group. Yay! Uh -huh. Look at this. It's so fantastic. Okay, this is Doug. And this is his princess. And he has a frog on his head that says kiss. Yes, I can see that. Kiss dog. Kiss that, dog. That's yes. what it says on his crown. And he is also up for adoption. You have to email highmaintenancebitch.com and I can put you in touch. He's very special. He came through a friend, Jeremy oh, Todd, who does hair and makeup for us. So with they Alex. Wonderful dogs who need a home and they're all yeah. probably all ready to go. Everybody's prepared with their shots yeah. and house broken and all that kind of stuff. They're great dogs. Yeah. Which is yeah. fantastic. I love that outfit. Can't it comes get enough. In a larger it. size too, Margaret. We forgot to bring a larger size, but <laughs> So there are a variety of sizes for different dogs, Absolutely, right? Yeah, okay, because yeah. he doesn't entirely have this on. That would fit my dog, but He's a way small. to go. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's home with you. It's perfectly want. fine, perfectly great. Thank you all so much. You are amazing. This is going to be a big success. Thank you. We can't wait for the show. Thank you for having uh, us. Thank, thank you, you for being here. So Lori and Ryan's new reality show will start airing sometime next year. We'll be sure to keep you posted on when and where to tune in. And you can also read Lori's monthly dating, mating, and salivating column in Seattle Leisure and Dog Magazine. Thank you. This was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Big applause. Let's do it. Well, thank you so much. We love King Five. Appreciate that. Thank you. When we come back, we're focusing on Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's this month, October. I just had a digital mammogram this morning, 8 a.m. Way to start the day. We'll walk through.